Okay, Dennis, this is the Sedona we talked about on the phone. I'm going to do a walk around on it. <clears throat> As you can tell, right up top, it's got the bag awning right over there. And then down here, it's got the stepper door. The Sedona did change from the uh, 07, 08 models up. This used to be just a swing out door. Now they got the big stepper door, which is nice because when you step in the coach, you got that platform there. This does have the sand pad base jacks on it instead of just a, sand, just a regular jack. It's got the actual base pedestal right here. Um, walking around, it does have the Sunbrella 302 tenting. This is mold and mildew proof and uh, <clears throat> it's flexible, it's, it's less, less chance of it tearing, it's a little more resilient. And then underneath, you can see the spare tire right there and right around the outside here. As you can tell, it's, it's just dirty, there's nothing wrong with it all the way around. And then over here, it's got two 20-pound LP tanks on it already, so all you need is the battery. So you're already well equipped in that respect. And it does have the diamond plate up front. The canvas has no rips or tears. So we're going to move inside. It could get dark, so bear with me because sometimes the camera takes a second to catch up. There's the dinette in the down position. As you can tell, that makes into a bed. Okay, and then there's the bed back here. There's no rips or tears. All the canvas is exactly as you would expect it to be. And down, down. Now normally this model used to have the uh, storage compartment right here. They put the furnace there now. Therefore there's not any room to put the uh, toilet. Now there's a couple spots that might allow for that and then this is one of them. It might be large enough to do that. So, uh, and again, this is mere speculation, but I think that that would fit. Uh, and there's a chance that we could cut this out a little bit bigger here if we needed to to accommodate that. And right here's the uh, three-way refrigerator. Uh, that is 110, 12 volt, or gas. There's an outlet there, and this is the other bed. Again, this is kind of dark, so I apologize. <clears throat> and then over here is the sink and storage pantry, whatever you want to call it, uh, and some storage underneath too. Um, what I did notice on my own was that there's some nails pulled out right here which we may be able to fix. Um, we'll take a look at that. And the range, gas range right here, stove top, it's a double burner. This just come out of zero degree temperature so everything's kind of frosty on it. <clears throat> and it does have the one piece aluminum door up top which you can just barely make out. And it also has the air conditioner support bracket if you ever wanted to add an air or boat cover on it. Uh, a couple of the other items that we were talking about, the vanity mate and the uh, wardrobe and the camper caddy, it, has not, it does not have any of them. Now, I might have uh, one of these upstairs for you, so I'll check on that uh, because we do have a rental fleet. And I thought this was a rental. It doesn't look to be a rental. It looks to be a, uh, a regular customer trade that came in. So, um, But again, looking back at it, uh, those were the two items that, uh, that I really questioned. And I'm still working on that price for the, uh, the uh, Yakima boat rack on top, or bike rack for that matter. And that's all predicated on how many bikes you have. Uh, the two racks go up top and mount the lengthways, and then you add each individual bike rack. Uh, for example, if you want two bikes, you have to buy two separate bike mechanisms. So it's all predicated on how many bikes you want. But you can get up to four bikes on top, assuming you'd only want two. And uh, so, so I hope this helps out. Uh, I'll be looking forward to talking to you again on the phone. We'll talk to you real soon.